Are you serious? Are you serious? Here we go. Yellowstone danger zone. Folks, there's been a powerful, powerful 5.3 earthquake that has just hit Soda Springs, Idaho. Now, that's only 136 miles from Yellowstone National Park and only 198 miles actually from the very spot of of the super volcano where it's at. I mean, but it's, it's huge. You're talking the super volcano is huge. Okay. So Soda Springs, Idaho is definitely in the danger zone. It's definitely a, in the kill zone. Okay. If this thing was to erupt. So what I'm telling you is a 5.3 earthquake has been followed by a half a dozen aftershocks has struck Soda Springs, Idaho near the state border of Wyoming some 28 kilometers east of Soda Springs, which is a population of about 3,000 people. That's according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Now, uh, let me just check real fast because the aftershocks are just flowing, okay? Flowing. So here we go. We had a 5.3, 5.3 powerful quake, Soda Springs, Idaho, within the Yellowstone danger zone. It was only 9.2 kilometers deep, very shallow. But get this, after it happened, about nine minutes later, a 3.1 aftershock. Then uh, uh, two minutes later, a 3.2. And then six minutes later, a 3.7. And then 12 minutes later, a 3.5. And then 13 minutes later, a 3.1 aftershock. Then one minute later, a 4.1 powerful aftershock. And these are very, check out how shallow they are. 10 kilometers, 7.4 kilometers, 5 kilometers, 5 kilometers, 2.8 kilometers. And that one was a 3.5. I mean, that was a 3.1. Then the 4.1 was 8.6. Then after that one, uh, five minutes later, a 3.2 aftershock, only five kilometers deep. Then we had a 3.5. That one happened uh, 17 minutes later, uh, and it was 11.6 kilometers deep, followed by a 3.0, which was uh, nine minutes later. That one was only five kilometers deep, and we just had a 3.0 This one in Lewiston, Utah, okay? Lewiston, Utah, which is just right over there by it. And this one was right at the surface of the earth. Zero kilometers, 0.1. I mean, it's at the surface. So we're looking here, folks. I'm I'm just checking this out. It's happening as we speak. But after the 5.3 earthquake that hit Soda Springs, Idaho, there's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine consecutive aftershocks, and then a 3.0 in Utah, which I'm going to tell you is another aftershock. So Yellowstone danger zone. And here's some really interesting information. Earlier today, Heidi had gotten some information from some folks, some sources, some inside information that NASA was planning on poking a hole in the Yellowstone supervolcano. Poking a hole. Well, what does that mean? Drilling a hole? What do they mean, poking a hole? That was to relieve pressure, okay? So uh, that's all we got. Inside info, that's what they were planning on doing. I don't know what that means, all right? Now, I'm sure that BP Earthwatch will be all over this situation. So will Dutch Sense at his channel, both those guys, and Mary Greeley at her channel. Those three really do a great job at monitoring what's going on at Yellowstone and all the earthquakes, but especially Yellowstone. Mary Greeley stays on it. That's where she focuses most of her energy. And then, of course, BP Earthwatch and Dutch Sense watch all of the earthquakes and are pretty pretty up to speed on how they, and it can almost, and each of them have predicted quakes before. Now, I know BP is also staying very focused on uh, Hurricane Irma and another storm that's forming and and maybe a possible another one 
So, you know, we got a lot on the plate here. And we're in, of course, if you, you got the Yellowstone here, earthquakes, you've got Hurricane Harvey, you got Hurricane Irma, you may have another er, hurricane or two, all in this 40 days. We're still in the 40 day window since the total solar eclipse. Just saying, okay? God was warning us, but he wants to bring us out. Remember what he's told Abraham. I'm going to warn you, Abraham, it's going to happen, but I will bring your people out with a great substance. So keep praying, keep praying, absolutely keep praying. And some of you need to get right with God. Time is running out. I'll be back with more in just a moment.